I am a traveler. I travel through time and space. I travel beyond the stars. I travel to other suns and other moon. Today, I travel to Tamriel again. Today, I am Elo Alice, a Burton Mender of the Mage Guild. And I'm writing a letter to my dearest friend. <sighs> my dear friend, in all the place of Tamriel, I would have never thought that it will be in the cold plains of Rodgar that I will find you again. I had imagined at this moment so many times. had pictured you on the doorstep of the farmhouse where we grew up, showing up, covered by a muddy cloak, and murmuring, I'm back. I heard your voice in my head, pronouncing those dearest words. I had imagined it to stumble on you by chance in a crowded market of some faraway city. I had imagined how we would recognize each other's faces and fall into each other's arms with tears of joy shining in our eyes. I even had thought that one day maybe I would receive a letter asking a ransom a bail or something similar and I will have to get you out of troubles. I will be your hero, your savior. Sometimes, only sometimes, I imagine the content of the letter forward. I poured on tears as I was scaring myself with your loss. I'd imagine it. So many different scenarios. But never this improbable one. Because, you see, when I recognized your figure in the distance of the scorched plains of Rothgar, when I recognized the vibrant green of your clothes, the color you have always favorized, contrasting with the pale brown grass of the land, I had trouble to believe my own eyes, but my heart wounds and rushed in my chest and I knew it was you. That day I 
loslässt. I was lost for many moons already. Arrived in Arsenium a few months before, like many adventurers, scholars and merchants, I had answered the call of King Kurok. This amazing person had decided to take upon himself the fate of his entire people, and what destiny had he envisioned? The promise of a brilliant future where the rich culture of the Orsimer would be celebrated and respected through the four corners of the world. An unified people with a common purpose. The birth of a grand nation. The way it all with no eloquent or complex verb use, but bold, strong, percutant words, and a rude, brutal honesty. His temper, fierce but joyous and enthusiastic at once. An org that celebrated life and his own blood with a fierce pride. He believed so much this grand dream that he managed to make it my own. I will have followed him anywhere. He would have converted me to his religion and added me to the rank of his army if the events that follow it had not opened my eyes. Nothing hurt as much to recover clarity after I've been blinded by sparkless thrown on your face. Nothing hurt as much as seeing your dreams and hope crushed and realizing that those dreams were just mere illusions. I felt betrayed. felt worthless, as crushed and broken, but life continues and I had to carry on. I mourned silently, dried my tears and went further north to meditate and find my purpose again. The silence of the valley was the only song of the wind blowing between the mountain peaks. The crispy snow under my feet, covering the land with its pure virgin dress. The tall pines standing proudly Watching with their tips the infinite blue sky. The ocean bathing the frozen shore with its calm waves. And my soul find rest in the mesmerizing rhythm of the tide.
It is when I finally had the strength to come back from my retreat that my past crossed yours and at the moment I recognized you I knew deep within my core that it was time for us to walk the same path again. My dear friend, I still remember fondly the day I found your egg in the garden of my parents. I kept it close my heart until you hatch. And then, when I saw those long winged emerald fans that worn both sides of your little head, I name it you, looks like a bitch. A perfect fine name for an Argonian, I thought. It warmed my heart when I discovered you had continued to use it, even after you left our home. We never knew how your egg landed in the field of vegetables. And we imagine it many improbable stories. My parents raised you as their own child, and you became my brother, my best friend, the partner of all my adventures as a child. When I saw you in the plains of Rodgar, I forgot the pain your departure to the east caused me. I only Remembered all games under the sunlight of the Evermore countryside. Even if I didn't fully understood back then, I guess I always knew that you had your own path to follow, as I had mine. But today our paths are joined again. And today my heart is overflowing of happiness. I do not know what the future holds. But the day we met again, in the cold, frozen land of Rodgar, I knew we would walk together for a while, healing each other's wounds, recovering from our broken dreams and disillusions. The same way we build sand castle on the beach children. We will build a world of our own where we will grow, bloom and be happy.